the talk of bed and beyond. Goldfish in this makeshift pond. The big question now is how long will the city allow these fish to continue making a splash here? I think it's beautiful that this is in the neighborhood mm -hmm. and they should leave it there. What I'm wondering, is it art? Is it a prank? Is it beautification? Like, what's the intention behind it? Neighbors in bed seem to love the idea that this puddle from a leaking fire hydrant has turned into a free aquarium for everyone to enjoy. I just heard about it this morning on Instagram. My friend in Lisbon, Portugal sent it to me. <laughs> I've never seen fish on the street before. Right, who has? <laughs> they look beautiful, and, and I didn't know that they was right there. I thought they was inside the hydrant. But the New York City Department of Environmental Protection has shut off the trickling fire hydrant several times, only to have neighbors turn it right back on. A spokesperson for the DEP saying the leaking hydrant can impact water pressure and supply issues for the neighborhood. We love goldfish also, but we know there is a better home for them than on the sidewalk. We live on the block with the fire department. And they, they turn on the fire hydrants all the time in the summer. They don't seem to be that concerned about the water pressure. There's a team of neighbors who feed the fish three times a day. There's also a sign saying there's a surveillance camera trained at all times on what is now being called Gav's Fish Pond. The creator, who says he bought 200 goldfish for $32 for the neighborhood to enjoy, says he didn't want to appear on camera, but his spokesman did. One of my friends, he came up with the idea and he acted on it. It's kind of cool because it, it it brings people together to have a conversation for the kids to come by from the community and see it on your way to work, drinking a cup of coffee, going to school. I love it. I'm pro the fish. 